Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. Today's Farm Basics, we wanted to discuss a little bit about the educational opportunities you have as a farmer during this winter. Well, the question is really, are you an expert when it comes to soil fertility? Are you an expert when it comes to fungicides and insecticides? I mean, there are a lot of things out there that you've got to know as a farmer. I think it's one of the toughest professions in the world because you know what? You have to be an expert at all those things, plus an expert mechanic, expert human resources director, expert CEO, expert heavy duty equipment <laughs> operator. I'm not going to help you out here at all, well, there, there are so many jobs there are a that lot farmers of things. have to be good at. It's tough. And every Every little one of those jobs makes a big difference in your profitability. Yeah. Well, one thing that you may be thinking about is which products am I going to use for my crop protection products this year? Am I going to use the same insecticides or herbicides or fungicides that I used last year? Well, have you seen the pricing on them and have you seen some of the programs? There are chemical companies that are hungry for your business and you may be making some changes this year to use similar products just from a different company because you can save big money. Well, when you talk about those different companies and programs and everything, I, I, I guess we just wanted to make you aware that we do go around the country and do a series of Ag PhD winter workshops throughout the winter. And the reason why we do those is so we can get a little bit more in detail than just spending a five minute segment on TV talking about something. We can really get into it, answer your questions. And also we can tell you some things that we're probably not gonna say on TV. So some of the uh, <laughs> things that wouldn't necessarily be politically correct here, but we can tell you what's worked for farmers, what doesn't work for farmers, and just some ways that you can save some money on your farm and get the best possible return on investment. Well, and speaking about what works, we do a lot of trial work on our farm with new products and some of those we can't really talk a whole lot about just yet, but we can share with you some of the things that we are doing on our farm and give you some yield data and give you an outlook of what's coming down the road as well. Yep, one of the things I'm most excited about to go through this winter at our workshops is estate planning, and you may have already taken Brian's care of getting this. getting a little bit old, you know, <laughs> Well, you can tell by the gray hair. He needs to needs to be thinking well, about those the, things. The, the <laughs> thing is, though, with, with estate planning, it's just such a huge issue for farmers, and you have to have that succession plan ready to go. Hopefully, you live a very long life, but even if you do, you want to have everything all set up so you're taken care of and your kids or whoever you want to eventually get the farm or your money, that's all covered. We certainly are not investment uh, experts and we're not going to sit there and tell you well this is always the way you should do things but we do want to give you some different options to take a look at and some things we've even gone through on our own farm. Well there are many different things that farmers need to know as we said. You can't be an expert in all of them so you have to keep learning all the time a little bit about a variety of things. Come to one of our winter workshops and you can see we've got many dates on our website and also on the graphic we're probably playing on the screen right now as I'm saying this. So, <laughs> so anyway, if you have more questions, just send us an email or give us a call. Well, one of the things that we do cover at all of these workshops is how you're going to control certain weeds. And one of those weeds could be our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.